The Portland-Milwaukee Light Rail Project is a 7.3-mile light rail extension from Portland State University through the South Waterfront in Southeast Portland and the City of Milwaukee to Park Avenue in Clackamas County. The project will create many economic and community benefits and opportunities along the way. In this simulation, the trackway is represented by bright yellow lines. Property over which the alignment passes will be purchased and modified by the project to allow the placement of trackways. The extension starts at Southwest Jackson Street between 5th and 6th Avenues near Portland State University before traveling east to Lincoln Street. The first station will be on Lincoln between Southwest 3rd and 2nd Avenues, which are two pedestrian-only thoroughfares. In a first for the region, the project is exploring options for EcoTrack on Lincoln. EcoTrack is trackway planted with vegetation, such as low-growing water-conserving plants, in place of ballast or pavement next to or between the rails. The alignment continues east, crossing 1st Avenue and Nato Parkway at grade before moving on to a new elevated structure over Harbor Drive. The trackway will pass under the Markham Bridge and run parallel to Southwest Moody Avenue into the new Southwest Porter Station in the South Waterfront District. The Southwest Porter Station will be adjacent to OHSU's future Schnitzer Campus. The campus will include the future Oregon University System's Collaborative Life Sciences Complex. This station will also connect to the future Portland Streetcar Stop on Moody and to bus connections. It will feature bike and pedestrian connections to a future Greenway Trail on the bank of the Willamette River. The alignment will cross a new light rail bridge over the river between the Markham and the Ross Island bridges. The first bridge built over the Willamette River in nearly 40 years, the bridge will have a cable-stayed design with two towers and will accommodate light rail, buses, and in the future, streetcars, but no autos. It will also have two 14-foot wide bike and pedestrian paths, one on each side of the trackway. The bridge's design and construction will minimize the impact on the river and its habitats. The project will create new riparian and bird habitat and remove 20,000 square feet of derelict piles in the Willamette River. In-water construction on the bridge begins July 1, 2011. At its east end, the bridge lands just north of Portland Opera and south of OMSI, the Oregon Museum of Science and Industry, at the new OMSI station. This station will connect to a future streetcar stop and to buses using the bridge. Cyclists and pedestrians will be able to travel between the station and the East Bank Esplanade on the Willamette River Bank. The project support OMSI's and Portland Opera's expansion plans and helps the Oregon Railroad Heritage Foundation realize its vision to create a permanent museum for its three historic steam locomotives in the Central East Side Industrial District. The alignment continues east under the Highway 99E viaduct before running parallel to the Union Pacific Railroad tracks. The alignment crosses several streets in this area, and these crossings will be reconfigured and consolidated to safely accommodate not only trains, but also the movement of cyclists, pedestrians, and vehicles, including freight trucks serving industrial businesses in this area. The project will invest around $35 million in bike and pedestrian facilities, including approximately 400 new bike parking spaces. The crossings between 8th and 12th Avenues will be modified to improve safety and accommodate light rail. These crossing safety improvements will help the City of Portland apply to the Federal Railroad Administration for a quiet zone where neither freight trains nor light rail trains would be required to blow their horns when approaching. Clinton Street Station will be located just east of Southeast 12th Avenue and south of Clinton Street. Cyclists and pedestrians can access the station via Gideon Street from 12th Avenue. Several nearby parcels offer opportunities for redevelopment. The alignment then crosses over Powell Boulevard before separating from the Union Pacific tracks. The existing overcrossing will be rebuilt to accommodate light rail and provide a multi-use path for cyclists and pedestrians connecting to new bike lanes and widened sidewalks on Southeast 17th Avenue. The underpass along Powell Boulevard will also be improved. The Ryan Street Station will be located a few blocks south of Powell Boulevard the alignment will run in the center of 17th Avenue with one lane of traffic and a bike lane on each side. The community has expressed interest in replacing the pedestrian bridge that crosses over the Union Pacific tracks to the east, and the project is seeking to identify funding for that purpose. The alignment continues south with stormwater plantings along 17th Avenue as well as new street trees. The Holgate Boulevard station will be situated just north of Holgate, providing good connections to bus service. 
Southeast 17th Avenue will be widened to accommodate cyclists, pedestrians, and freight traffic serving industrial businesses in this area. The project builds more than $40 million in roadway improvements along the alignment and improves freight mobility along McLaughlin Boulevard, including at Union Pacific's Brooklyn Yards facility. At McLaughlin Boulevard, the alignment leaves 17th Avenue and parallels the east side of McLaughlin. The project will build a structure at Harold Street to separate light rail from freight trucks serving the Brooklyn Yard. This structure will also be part of a future Harold Street station. That station will not be built with this project, but at a later date when financing, ridership, and nearby land uses can support it. The next stop will be the Bybee Boulevard station. This station will be accessed via stairs and elevator. A new pullout will be built on the north side of the bridge that will allow buses to leave traffic to pick up and drop off riders. The project hopes to identify funding for adding a pullout and elevator to the south side of the bridge in the future. To reach the Tacoma Street station, the trackway will pass over the on and off ramps for Tacoma Street, pass under the Tacoma Street bridge, and then cross Johnson Creek on a new light rail bridge. The station platform will face the creek and a park and ride will be built on the south with space for 320 vehicles. The station is being designed to capitalize on the connection to the Springwater Corridor, providing 112 bike spaces, including a 100 space secure bike and ride facility. The alignment will pass under the Springwater Corridor Trail Bridge, then over a new structure to bring the light rail tracks to the east side of the Tillamook branch of the Union Pacific Railroad. The line will travel under Highway 224 before entering downtown Milwaukee, where light rail tracks will share street crossings with existing railroad tracks. Safety improvements will be added at these crossings to facilitate the City of Milwaukee's application for a quiet zone. The downtown Milwaukee station will be located just west of Southeast 21st Avenue between Adams Street and Lake Road. The station will include public art and a shelter and will provide easy connections to bus riders at 21st Avenue and Washington Street and to the Jackson Street Transit Hub. The project promotes the City of Milwaukee's realization of its South Downtown plan. The alignment will cross a new bridge over Kellogg Creek, which will be built to accommodate the addition of a future multi-use path. The bridge passes over McLaughlin Boulevard, Southeast 22nd Avenue, and River Road and brings the trackway back to the ground west of McLaughlin Boulevard and next to the multi-use trolley trail. The Park Avenue station will include a 355-space park-and-ride garage and a secure bike-and-ride facility for bike commuters. A Metro Nature and Neighborhoods grant will fund natural area enhancements west of the station area, which will connect to the new six-mile trolley trail. The project also includes roadway and intersection improvements on Park Avenue, Oatfield, and McLaughlin. The Portland-Milwaukee Light Rail Project is the region's sixth light rail project. Service along the alignment will begin in September 2015.